welcome back to my channel one more time today I am doing uh, like a makeup tutorial over this makeup look um, it is more glam for me but I know this is like a quick makeup look that I can do and um, I usually wear it to work it's just glowy it makes me look beautiful I did do a little bolder eyebrows and more like I did I put on fake lashes um, but that's about it that's usually I don't usually put on fake lashes and I don't do my eyebrows like this thick and filled in but um, other than that I do do everything else it's just something quick to do and I did do a voiceover because I'm coughing and I'm kind of sick so I didn't want to like cough and like like just show you guys my snot, snot or anything like that so I'm getting ready to go to work I have to leave here in like about 20 minutes so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you would like to see how I get this look then just keep watching thanks guys okay so I'm gonna start off with moisturizing my face I'll be using the elf um, hydrating water essence and I love this it's very hydrating um, it, I use it as a moisturizer and as a primer because it gets really sticky um, and then I'll be moving on to foundation and the foundation I'll be using is the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in 238 rich tan and it actually uh, matches me perfectly but I'll just be dotting it on with my fingers um, and then I'll be blending it out with um, the real technique sponge I used to go up to th shade 310 believe it or not on with the matte and poreless foundation but I've realized not to get such orangey tones because my skin like I'm more like of an olive slash like yellow undertone so i'm just starting to learn my undertone which is crazy um but moving on to concealer this is the instant age wine i believe by maybelline as well and it's in neutralizer which is a little too light for me um and i put way too much on in this video but i usually do anyway so this is just real life but i'm using this foundation by maybelline and it's the 24 hour foundation in um 128 warm nude but i'm just kind of dotting a few dots underneath my eyes and into that concealer and i'll just be blending it out with my real technique sponge as well but the reason why i do that is so that it won't get so like it won't be so light underneath my eyes um and then also i make sure after i blend everything out to turn the sponge around Around and use the side that I've blended my foundation in with and I just kind of pat it into my skin um, where I put that concealer so that it'll kind of mix and blend with my foundation it won't be so light I'm going to be moving on to powder and the powder that I'll be using is the Airspun um, Naturally Neutral Powder. I love this powder so much you guys like you need it in your life. Um, I just love the way it sets underneath my eyes. I have been having some trouble with like my nose foundation staying on my nose but I always have trouble with this foundation if I put it on like it just won't stay on my nose for some reason but I don't think it's the powder other than that I love 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 this powder and I'm I'm putting a lot underneath my eyes just because I like to do that right now I know maybe I'll fade away from that but I just set everywhere um, where I put that concealer at and then I'll be moving on to my um, loose face powder and this is the fit me um, powder it's a, like the loose I just said it, Leslie. You just said the loose face powder. <laughs> I'm just using a big fluffy brush, and this is actually in the shade light medium from um, that little collection. I don't know what I'm saying. And then also, I'm dusting off the excess powder from underneath my eyes and anywhere else. Then I'm going to go into the um, Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'll be using that shade in the middle with a big old fluffy brush and I'll just be bronzing up my face. Um, I usually do like my temple. I don't know why I like bronze up my forehead so much. I have such a small forehead. I should probably stop. But like my temple, my cheeks, um, my neck, my nose, anywhere, really everywhere. I just bronze up. I just avoid the areas that I, I kind of highlighted. Um, so yeah, don't forget your neck. Always do your neck. Then I'll be going into that kind of... Um, what is it like a gray tone i'll be contouring with that i'm just using a bh cosmetics angled brush for that um and then i'm going back in with my sponge and kind of cleaning up my nose contour a little bit because i lord knows i need it then i'll be do using this blush honestly my best friend gave that to me I don't know what it's called and I don't want to run out to go get it but I think it's by Dolce is that how you say it it's a really pretty peach blush and I love it I'll be setting my face with this hard candy matte finishing like spray or setting spray what am I saying the matte setting spray and I'll be tapping it in with my beauty blender with my booty blender booty 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 <laughs> I need too much fun today and then I'm taking this elf um my best friend gave me this around gave me this as well and it's the heart defense and def def defer the shoot i'm totally screwing this up the elf it's like the collab with heart 
I don't know how to say the last name, but they're beautiful highlighters. And for like my cheek highlight, I mix both of them together because one's too dark and one's too light, and I mix them both together. It's perfect. And then for like my nose con for my nose highlight and like the keep it I use a lighter one. So moving on to my brows, I'm using this Smashbox um kind of like eyeshadow thing, but I just use it for my eyebrows. Literally the best thing that I use for my eyebrows, and I just use this really thin brush by BH Cosmetics, and I just fill in my eyebrows. That's all I do and it works so good for me just because I love the pr the product and I'm about to get myself like another one of these because I'm almost out of that brown shade okay moving on to eyeshadow I'm using this wet and well palette don't know the name of it but it's very earthy and I'm just using the orangey tone honestly you can go into any palette and get like that orangey taupey bronzy color and I'm just putting that in my crease and honestly just all over my lid outer V um, I'm just putting this to add some dimension some color into my crease and make my crease look so beautiful um, and and then I'll be going in to the Kat Von D Shade and Lamp Palette again. And I'm going to be using that darker shade that I used to contour. And I'm going to be using that BH Cosmetics um, brush. It's just like a small, smaller blending brush. I'll just be going back and forth in windshield wipers motions. But I'll be keeping this in my crease and towards the outer V just to create a little bit more of depth. And also I'll be putting it underneath my, um, in my bottom waterline. Right? That's how you call that? I think so. <laughs> Then I'll be going into that um, highlighter again by e.l.f. and Heart, um, and I'll just be applying this to my lid. I love the, well, I'm using the darker shade, not the lighter shade, so I'm just using the darker shade to just kind of highlight my my lid, and it looks so pretty. And then I'll be using this NYX eyeliner that I love so much. I love this liner. I'm going to have to get this liner again, but it's lasting me forever, and I'm hoping it lasts me forever more. <laughs> But I'm just lining my um my my lid. I'm just creating a wing. That's what I'm trying to say. Curling my lashes. I'm using this um what's it called mascara, and it's by the Balm, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. And I'm applying some lashes. These lashes are by Kiss. I didn't show you guys, but they're by Kiss. They're like the demi wispies or whatever by kiss so pretty. I love them. Go get them. They're super cheap. Um, so I'm just applying those. Then I'm applying some bottom mascara. And I am applying the Lala Fox Lip Tint. Um, and it's in Dancing Coral. And it's so pretty. Okay, guys. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Forget to subscribe if you haven't. If you do, thank you so much. And also, if you do subscribe, don't forget to click the notification bell down below next to the subscribe button so that you'll get notified when we upload a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.